So the report broke down. It was really interesting. It kind of it looked at at tons and tons of tools, and it broke them down into three buckets: highly vulnerable, medium vulnerability, and low vulnerability. So this is basically looking at a bunch of ad tech tools, and then looking at what large language models do, and making some determinations. So let's look at the highly vulnerable. So here, the risk is that we have directly replaceable or significantly surpassed by AI. These tools often rely on static content, basic automation. Uh, or human labor for tasks that AI can do faster, cheaper, or better. So the buckets or examples are basic content delivery, so digital libraries, non-interactive e-textbooks, then some of the quizzing stuff, right, Quizlet versions, and then homework help. And there's a big profile in the study that Gem and I did about Chegg, and we'll talk about that. All right, Liz, then you got the medium vulnerability. What's that all about? Yeah, so these are apps that are going to need to adapt significantly with deep AI integration in order to remain relevant. So their existing features are challenged by AI, but institution embeddedness or more complex functions provide some stability. Mm. So these are the learning management systems like Canvas, like Blackboard Learn. Uh, It doesn't say PowerSchool here, but I'm assuming... I think they put PowerSchool. It's funny. They do talk about SISs, but in in a different bucket. They argue that they... Who the hell is they? (laughs) Gemini argues in this well, highly quality, deep research uh, that SIS is also foundational. So it's not kind of at risk at the same time. Carry on. So we're in like LMS land here, right? Okay, yeah. So those LMSs, Canvas, Blackboard Learn, kind of need to up their AI game if they want to stay relevant. Um, Formative assessment tools, Kahoot, quizzes, there needs to be AI for deeper insights, not just quiz generation. But man, kids love a Kahoot. I use it all the time. And then content creation suites like Google Workspace, Microsoft Office 365 um, need to just keep building that AI in there to make it, to make them continue to be relevant. Which they're they're clearly already doing. doing. Right. All right. And then we've got low vulnerability. So here the risk is that this could be more things that are augmented rather than replaced. So very specialized hardware. Think about something like ZSpace that we talked about a couple of weeks. They've been a great new partner for us. Also things that require nuanced human interaction or themselves are involving to counter AI misuse like Turnitin, right? So here we've got special, oh, there you go. Specialized AR, VR, XR platforms, um, tools for complex human interaction like project-based learning. Yeah. Yeah. Although we found that like AI can be a fantastic, I guess it, it is low vulnerability because in our personal interest project platform, we have an AI integration that we think is really working great. Right. AI can support, but not replicate. Yep. 